Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today called NG Ingwen. My name is John Drummond or Yang Haowen. Hello, 大家好，欢迎回到我们西平方的节目 NG Ingwen。我是 Angela. We have a great show for you today on this Christmas day with our good friend Du Li. Who's known around the Taiwanese community as Du Li? 是的，大家如果看过某个很多外国人上的电视节目，可能就都知道或是有听过今天我们 NG 英文节目的来宾 Du Li 杜丽哦。他待会呢会跟大家分享他的音乐事业，跟他一路走来呢学语言的心得。But before we get to the interview with Du Li and I, Angela is going to break down some of the cultural differences Du Li spoke about, particularly about sweet versus unsweet tea. And how you can order that in America versus Taiwan. So ho ho ho, take it away, Miss Angela Ma on NG English. 好的，没问题 ，John， 感谢你的介绍。那没有错，今天嘞，我们要来聊聊，如果某天遇到需要用英文来点手摇饮料的话，那些微糖、少糖、无糖、半糖那些的这个甜度的词，要怎么用英文讲才对哦？那另外呢，因为今天是圣诞节嘛，待会在节目尾声会有个小惊喜要送给各位听众朋友哦，一定要听到最后。那现在就请大家赶快把 NG c h e c h e 这个 NG 英文专属的笔记小抄准备好，我们要开始喽。待会在访谈中啊，多里会讲到他刚来台湾的时候，因为吃腻了水饺，吃腻了炒饭，想要点别的，然后加上他想要有办法自己去点饮料来喝，所以就激发了他学中文的这个动力。开始每天都学一句跟点餐还有食物有关的用法，像他就学到说，一般常点的饮料要重量级要 large 的话呢，中文就是要讲大杯 large。那饮料来啦，但是太甜了。后来他又学到说，英文的 half sugar 就是我们的半糖 half sugar。好，那现在问题来啦，饮料店的这个糖量有分很多种哎，不是只有半糖而已啊。如果在国外买手摇饮料，只想要微糖的话，要怎么讲嘞？那少糖话要怎么说？那无糖嘞？好，我们一个一个来，不要急哈。如果你说要健康优先，要无糖，完全不要加糖的话，相信大家都知道，就是 no sugar， no sugar。好，那微糖呢？好，微糖一般我们可以用 little 或是 light 来表示，不过要注意哦。Light， 它除了有光的意思以外，也可以用来表示很轻或是少量，所以微糖可以用 light sugar 来表达。Light sugar。好，那你说，那少糖怎么讲？少糖的话呢，通常会用 less 来形容。L E S S less 就是 less sugar 这样子。那最后甜度正常的话嘞，是不是就用 normal 就好了？因为 normal 的意思就是正常嘛。哎，这样子讲是没有错啦。不过如果用 regular 可能会更好哦。regular 好啦，希望刚才讲的这些呢，对你的英文学习之路有所帮助。如果你有漏掉，哎呀，没有听到或写下来的，也不用担心啦，可以上我们的 YouTube 频道，随时要听几次就给他听几次。那如果大家都已经准备好了的话，我们就赶快进入今天的访谈内容，听听杜丽的分享吧。As always, thank you, Miss Angela Ma, for that Christmas Day NG Ingwen breakdown. Today on our Christmas edition, I am joined by singer, songwriter, musician, entertainer, actor, dog lover, and so much more. So everyone, please welcome my good friend Dooley. What's up, my man? What's up? What's up, John? How you been, brother? Good, brother. Good to see you. Thank you for making some time out of your busy schedule to come join us today on NG Ingwen. All right, I'm excited to be here. I know it's my first time. I know we've had、uh, you've mentioned to me your show a couple of times, and、uh, it's hard for me to find some time with my busy schedule. But I'm really excited for today and and to share some things with everybody. Yeah, man. Well, I know you are a busy man, so thank you again for making time. But can you share a little bit about what projects have you been working on recently that have been kind of consuming all of your time? 访谈开始呢，我们来宾杜丽分享到说啊，他最近真的是忙到一个不行呢。等一下大家会听他讲说 ，extremely busy， 就是非常非常的忙。不过话说回来，他都在忙些什么嘞？杜丽说，知道他的人大概也知道他常常要上电视节目啊，或是像在宴会、在婚礼上面驻唱那样子。尤其是呢，现在年底了，又是神忙特忙哦，因为有更多要去现场驻唱的场合，像是什么圣诞趴啦、尾牙、春酒等等。再加上最近也要准备出他的第一首中文 single， 时间几乎都快要不够用了，真的是忙翻天。那各位听众朋友们，我们赶快来一起听听杜丽的分享吧。Well, besides、uh, the normal things I do, uh, 
And I think most people who know me know that I do, of course, TV. And I also uh, sing at lots of events, weddings and corporate functions and things as such. And I've been extremely busy recently uh, because it's the end of the year. So there are plenty of Christmas parties and uh, end of the year parties, wayas and uh, twin joes that my company is getting ready for. Uh, but also something that I'm really excited about is that I've been working on my very first Chinese single yeah. or a single that's in Chinese, I guess I should say. <laughs> yes. So can you explain to kind of maybe people who don't know, what does a single mean? 那在上一段访谈中呢，我们听到杜丽啊，她准备要发行她的第一首 single。那 single 是什么意思啊？其实呢，就是我们常讲的单曲。那这边跟大家补充一点 ，single 它本来是单一一个的意思，用在感情世界的话就是单身，那用在歌唱世界就是刚才我们讲到的单曲。好，那杜丽说呢，她在这方面真的花了不少时间，花了很多精力来准备哦。就是待会大家会听到她讲的 ，a lot of energy and effort。他说：“这预计呢，在圣诞节当天，也就是今天会发行哦。中文单曲名称叫做《勾搭》，希望大家会喜欢。那就像杜丽等等会讲到的，圣诞节对于西方人来讲，特别是加拿大人跟美国人，是个很重要、很特别的节日哦。我个人是觉得，就像我们的过年一样，就是亲朋好友啊会聚在一起这样子。那杜丽说，他觉得有时候其实这是一个 happy and sad time， 就是悲喜交加的日子哦。”可能是因为说不一定可以都有机会聚在一起吧，但是今年嘞，因为即将发行的这首单曲呢，他说会是一个特别特别 ，especially special 的圣诞节哦，也大家可以试着念念这绕口令 ，especially special。好啦，那我们就话不多说，直接来听听这段访谈内容吧。Yeah, so uh, uh, for people who don't know what a single is, a single is uh, instead of releasing an entire album of, let's say. Ten or twelve songs. Maybe you just release one song, and that's what single means.、Uh, and in Chinese, that's a danchu. And、uh, so I've been working on this Chinese tune, and it took me a while, and I put a lot of energy and effort into it. So I hope when it comes out here in the next couple days, that、uh, people will be able to enjoy it. The goal is to release the song on.、Uh, Hopefully, hopefully, with if everything works out,、uh, the 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 single will be out on December twenty fifth of two thousand and nineteen, and the name of the song is entitled "Go Da, Go Da, Go Da." Yeah. All right. So the beautiful thing about this is,、uh, we are actually recording this show right now, and it will also be released December twenty fifth, two thousand nineteen, which is. For us two Americans, Christmas Day in,、ah. the, in the in the states and many places in the world. So we hopefully can celebrate Christmas with your new single. I certainly do hope so.、Uh, you know,、uh, Christmas is always a special time of year, especially for us foreigners, uh, uh, especially for Americans or Canadians, or I'm sure other countries also. You know, Christmas is a time we get to spend with our family and our friends and.、Uh, It's a happy and sad time, I think.、Mm. Uh, but I think this year is going to be especially special, if I can say it that way.、Uh, especially special. Ooh, especially I like that. Special. That's a tongue twister. Try that out there if you're listening on ICRT. Especially special. <laughs> yeah. Why is it especially special? Because of the single. That's、yeah. right. So, have you given any thought then to turning this into an album somewhere down the road, or or is that too far thinking? 前面我们都在聊杜丽的这首单曲。那接下来主持人 John 要来问问他。未来有没有打算要出成一张专辑嘞？就是刚才给我听到这样问的这一句 ，turning this into an album somewhere down the road。album 在这边是指专辑，那 somewhere down the road 不是路上某处哦，而是在表达未来将来的某个时候。好，那杜丽说呢，当然如果真的卖得好，反应不错，大家都欣赏他的嗓音的话，那或许未来他真的会考虑发行更多歌曲。毕竟他的歌喉，他唱歌的方式跟其他唱中文歌的歌手是不太一样的。不过我跟 John 都觉得说他唱的真的很棒，尤其是还写中文歌，哎，这太厉害了吧！希望他的单曲大卖。大家有兴趣的话，也可以去听听看哦。Well, we'll just have to see how things go. The hope is that、uh, if there is a good response and people enjoy the tune and enjoy my voice, also I I think feel like my voice is very Different from most of the other Chinese tunes that I've heard out there. If there is a good response, maybe there'll be more music to come in the future. 
Well, I, I love your voice speaking from uh, experience listening to you at Smexy and uh, and a few of your uh, your little birthday events. I think you oh. sang at the last birthday event that <laughs> two years ago, maybe. Anyway, nonetheless, I love your voice and I'm so proud of you for uh, for writing a song in Chinese and getting to put it out like that. Thank you. Thank you. So if you don't mind and we switch gears a little bit, can you kind of share with our listeners about kind of when did you come to Taiwan and what brought you here? 哇,那杜丽她中文这么好,想必已经学了很久,而且在台湾也住了有一阵子了吧。她说她其实已经在台湾住了快十七年了,是January 15th of 2003,是2003年的1月15号那天来的。当初她完全没有想到会待那么久,甚至一开始根本就不是她说要来台湾,是她兄弟要她来的。她说她那时候本来是住在亚利桑那州在那个Arizona那边。那有一次在聊天的时候啊，就提到说，哎，他有在考虑要搬去其他州住，有在想说可能Texas在德州那里。但他兄弟竟然跟他说：“No，No，No，No，不，不，不，不，你要去的不是德州，是台湾。”这样
And I taught there for seven years, actually. And it was a good time. I enjoyed myself. I, that's, you know, when I first got here, I lived in Elon. And so I always joke that that's kind of my hometown here in Taiwan. I'm, I'm always like, oh, we'll see Elon in. <laughs> so I think you're, you're on the same vibe with Jai. Yeah, I always say Jai is definitely my hometown. I really miss it a lot. I get back. Uh, I try to get back a couple times a year and spend time with my friends there. I uh, well, don't even want to say friends. They're more like my brothers and sisters in Taiwan, mm. uh, just because we've known each other for so long. It's funny how things uh, just turn out that way. You know, sometimes uh, in Chinese, there's a saying, 明中注定. Have you heard of that saying? I have not heard of that saying. Uh, it's kind of like uh, destiny. Des- yeah, it, okay. It makes, you know, yeah. because it was mm. never my plan to stay in Taiwan for 17 years. In fact, I thought I was just only going to be here for maybe one year. Yeah. And it just keeps turning into something new. I never thought that uh, me coming here to teach English would turn into me going to study uh, for my master's degree in, in Tainan at Chengong Dashui. In, and, and I never thought that I would have an opportunity to become a singer and sing for two years in Ida Sijie in Kaohsiung or move to Taipei and be on TV and, <laughs> and start an entertainment company and be doing weddings and corporate functions. That's this something I never even dreamed of. You know, my only dream was just to save enough money to uh, put some new rims on my car and maybe pay off my student loan debt. Yeah, what what a turn of fate, destiny. Can you say that expression one more time in Chinese for us? Yeah, you know, that's uh, very similar to my story. I was supposed to come here for three months on a tourist <laughs> visa for surfing. And, uh, and that destiny had it that I have stayed and and I'm loving every minute of it and we love having you here also well thank you thank you thank you yeah and, and that brings you know the the fate of keeping me here was my two dogs and I know you have just welcomed in a new puppy to your life oh yes I have uh, that, that's my little son I don't even say he's a dog he's more like my son <laughs> well I'm really hoping we can get to the to the dog park and play uh, over the holiday season yeah, man, that's uh, that's some good holiday cheer on this little Christmas day. Then switching gears one more time, if you don't mind, what got you started with your Chinese learning? 那节目听到这边呢，不知道大家有没有发现，杜丽亚她的中文真的很好哎。那她是什么时候开始学中文的嘞 ？What got him started with Chinese learning? 杜丽说她觉得学一个语言啊，主要还是有动力比较好。想激励她去学中文的动力呢？就是食物，就是 food。听到这边，大家应该还蛮有共鸣的哦。<笑>他说他是一个 picky eater， 是一个很挑食的人。像刚来台湾那阵子啊，他每天吃水饺、吃炒饭就吃腻了，而且不想要每次都只喝绿茶，所以就规定自己说每天要学会一句话或是一个字，让自己能够更顺利的点餐。像例如，他就有学到说 large green tea 是大杯绿茶，或是 half sugar 就是我们中文常讲的。半糖这样子这类的话哦，那杜丽说她觉得学语言啊，可以从自己每天会用到的单字句型开始学会比较好。等到这些基本都学会了，再去练习进阶一点的，也会比较 encouraging， 会比较鼓舞人心一点。不会因为都听不懂，觉得气馁就不想学，因为你有看到自己的 progress， 看到自己的进步。You just need to find something that motivates you. And、uh, for anybody who's seen me in person or knows me, what motivates me most is food. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, I, I do. Know. <laughs> lo- I love to eat. I really do love to eat. But I'm a very picky eater.、Mm. There are certain things that I do like to eat, and there are certain things I don't like to eat. And so、uh, when I first got here in Taiwan, I got tired of eating、uh, sui jiao、mm-hmm. and chao fan <laughs> every day. And I got tired of only being able to drink green tea,、uh, and、yes. not being able to get it the way I want it. <laughs> yes. And so I learned a lot of little little words just to help me. And so my main mission was every day to learn one new word or one new sentence. So I started off learning things like,、uh, "I want a large green tea," and then I learned that. And then I said, "Well." It's too sweet, so I need to learn how to say I want half sugar, <laughs> and so then I learned that. Yeah, so that's that's how I kind of started learning how to speak in Chinese, and and I just started with the things that meant something to me, and that but basically was food, you know. And I, if you want to learn a language, just find anything that motivates you, and find the things that you use on a daily basis, and learn those things first. And once you start making some progress, and you see the progress, it just Makes things more encouraging. I think that's so beautiful and so true, and it leads me now to a being very hungry, but b <laughs> thinking about 
a cultural difference question. Um, what you brought up with ordering the tea and how sweet it is. So I would typically ask, is there any cultural differences you can share? But I think for this little Christmas edition, do you mind explaining what is the difference here between how we order tea versus how we would order tea in America? 在前面我们讲到啊，杜丽她在台湾点餐点饮料的时候，她有学到说，哎，他们英文的 large 就是台湾中文的大杯。那如果是要 half sugar， 那就是要讲半糖这样子。那在这段访谈中呢，我们要来问问她，有没有注意到台湾跟美国在点饮料方面的一些不同哦？那杜丽说，她在美国点茶的时候，通常你只有两种选择 ，two choices。你要么就是点加糖的茶，这个 sweet tea， 不然就是无糖，就是 unsweetened tea。像有一次，他就跟一个台湾朋友回去美国啊，去他们的那个素食连锁餐厅 Dennis。那杜丽就问他这位台湾朋友，问他说：“哎，那你饮料要喝什么？”他朋友说要喝茶。那茶是有糖还是无糖嘞？他朋友就说：“哎，我要半糖。”因为他不知道，在美国通常没有像台湾饮料甜度有这么多选择，只有有糖和无糖而已这两种。<laughs> well, typically, when you order tea in America, you have two choices: you either have sweet tea or you have unsweetened tea. Those、mm-hmm. are your only two options. Either it has sugar or it doesn't have sugar,、mm-hmm. and you can choose whether or not you want sugar or not. And typically,、uh, when you order, let's say you order a tea and you don't. Want it so sweet? You just order the unsweet sugar,、uh, the unsweet tea. I'm sorry, and then you add sugar yourself, and you can add as much as you like. And I and I and I actually had this experience once、uh, when I was in a, in the United States. I went back with one of my Taiwanese friends, and I think we went to a little uh, restaurant uh, called Denny's. I don't know if, if Ooh, everyone's heard of Denny's. I love Denny's. <laughs> I'll go to Denny's in a hot <laughs> that minute. That grand slam, you get、baby. a grand slam、Ooh, in a hot minute. Oh man! <laughs> so we went to Denny's and I said, "Well, what do you want to drink?" And he was like, "Well, I want some tea."、Uh, I was like, "Okay, do you want sweet or unsweet?" And he was like, "Well, can I have half sugar?" And I was like, uh, uh, "We don't have that here in America, sir. Either you want <laughs> sweet tea or you want unsweetened tea. That, those are your options, typically." Yeah, that's that's some wonderful cultural differences right there, and. And that's something I had to learn, and that helped me with my Chinese as well. I remember trying to order my tea, and like, yo, I don't want too much sugar. I gotta figure this out. Cool, man. This has all been so great, and actually, it's going by way too fast. And it leads me to my last question here on Ng Ingwen, and it is, if you could go back in time and talk to a young Du Li, would there be any advice you give yourself about language learning? 好啦，在访谈最后嘞，我们一样要来问问杜丽。如果他可以回到过去跟以前的自己说说话，他会想要给在学语言的自己一些什么建议嘞？他说 ，Don't ever think that you can't accomplish your goal. 什么意思嘞？就是说，他希望永远不要觉得自己没有办法达到你要的目标。因为他说，以前常会觉得，哦，中文怎样都学不好啊，因为两个语言之间文化差异实在是太多了。然后加上中文又有很多各种不同的表达方式。让他曾经非常非常气馁，觉得要放弃这样子。但是杜丽他现在觉得，只要有 persistence， 有这个恒心坚持下去，再加上你的努力、你的认真，这个 effort and hard work， 就没有什么是做不到的、哦。他说啊，如果真的可以回到过去，跟以前自己讲这些话，他甚至还会想要花一些时间去学台语哦。真的也是还蛮有心的一个外国人。哎，那各位听众朋友，虽然我们是节目最后一段了。不过大家先别急着离开，待会啊，杜丽会唱首歌祝大家圣诞快乐哦。那 Angela 在这边除了也希望大家可以开开心心的过一个圣诞节以外嘞，也要先预祝大家有一个美好的二零二零年。Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody. The advice that I would give myself about language learning would be this: Don't ever think that you can't accomplish your goal. I, I think that would be the only. Advice that I would give myself, because there were many times when I thought that I would never ever be able to get a decent grasp of the Chinese language, just because there are so many cultural differences and there are so many、uh, different ways to express yourself in Chinese,、uh, or just learning a language in general. But I think that with persistence and with effort and with hard work, anything is possible. And so. If I could go back in time, I think that I would、uh, maybe even invest a little bit more time、uh, when I first got here in Taiwan、uh, with learning Chinese, but not only Chinese, but maybe even learning a little bit of Taiwanese.、Mm. Yeah, well, I think that's wonderful 
and I do want to say how how incredible your your Mandarin is now, and and it's so great to watch you perform and, and share your passion of music with uh, with the Taiwanese people now, oh, thanks, and, and the world really. Thank you, I really appreciate yeah. that. Well, my man, it is coming to the end of the show here on our Christmas edition of NG Ingwen. Can um, can we share a little bit about your social media, where people can listen to maybe your music, and where they can find your new single as it releases? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you can look me up on Facebook at Dooley One C, uh, D O O L E Y E C, uh, on both uh, Facebook and on Instagram. And I think I also have a couple other things that I that I have. I don't even know. I got a TikTok. <laughs> I got a Snapchat. Oh, you're all over it. I now. got a Weixing. Y'all help me out, Jesus. It's just it's just too many of those applications <laughs> going many. on, and I just can't control them all. But anyways, you can look me up anywhere on the internet. And for sure, if you get an opportunity, take some time and go listen to my new single, Weixing's Dan Chu Jiao Zuo Go Da. All right. So let's wrap it up with. Uh... Do you want to sing a little uh, a little Christmas tune to to end here on uh, on ICRT? <laughs> <laughs> sing a sing a song. Well, let's see. Well, let's see. Uh, do you know a tune called uh, "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas"? Have yourself a merry. Li- I do know that song. How how does that go? Uh, that's one of my favorite Christmas tunes, and I remember as a child, my mom would play this song over and over all throughout the Christmas season. Uh, uh, I know that uh, my the particular version I love the best is by Luther Vandross, and so. So you're going to sing a little bit with me? What or what, John? Oh, uh, I don't know if people want to hear my terrible voice, but right. I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll take. I'll follow your lead. You, okay. you can just jump in with me then. How about that? All right. The water's warm. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be... Uh, what are the words? <laughs> Let your heart, heart be free. I don't know. Let's move. <laughs> From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Oh, man. Oh, I'd man. Have, I'd oh, have, man. I'd have messed up, John. You'd have messed up my Christmas We're tune. keeping it. We're getting it. That's a like wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my man. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for making some time tonight. Thanks, John. And we'll talk to you next time. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year. All righty. That is our NG Ingwin show for today. We hope everyone enjoyed listening to that. Don't forget to connect with us on Instagram or Facebook. You can search NG Ingwen or you can search NG English ICRT. And make sure to tune in each week, Wednesday morning from 6.30 to 7 and Wednesday night from 9 to 9.30. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 好，那我们今天新平方的节目 NG 英文就到这边告一段落啦。感谢大家的收听，别忘了到 IG 搜寻我们的粉丝专业 NG 底线。English 在底线 ，I C R T。那大家也要记得，每周三早上六点半到七点，或是晚上九点到九点半，把广播调到 I C R T 频道 F M 一百， FM100, 准时收听我们节目哦。那也欢迎大家上网搜寻西平方的攻其不备课程，或者是呢到我们西平方的官网，多读读一些有关 N G 英文的专栏文章，看看在 N G 英文里面的专栏有没有哪些是大家可以吸收学起来的一些小 p a p e r 哦。我们下次见了。拜拜。